Hello and welcome to News Mongolia on MNB World. It's Friday, March the 19th. I'm Batsir Namshir. In Frau Top Stories, 160 more cases confirmed on Friday. Mongolian cosmonaut Gurarkcha awarded with the order of Alexander Nevsky. The immunization of export truck drivers has started. For other news, stay tuned. The Ministry of Health and the National Center for Communicable Diseases held its daily press briefing to provide the latest updates on COVID-19 status in Mongolia. 160 new COVID-19 cases have been confirmed in the past 24 hours after 24,482 people were tested nationwide and the country's total number of cases has reached 4,658. All new cases were confirmed in Ulaanbaatar, making the total number of domestic cases 4,125. The 160 new cases include 141 close contacts of known patients and contact tracing is now underway for the remaining 19 cases to find the source of infection. Those 19 patients reside in the 4th, 14th and 26th Horas of Bainzurk, 7th Hora of Bayangal, 11th and 12th Horas of Sukhbatur, 3rd, 8th, 25th and 37th Horas of Sengenherchen and 20th Hora of Hangol district. 84 new patients have recovered and the total number of recoveries is now 3,296, making up 71% of total cases. Out of the 1,284 patients who are currently undergoing treatment, three are in critical condition. The government of Mongolia has launched an immunization campaign and started administering COVID-19 vaccines to citizens from February 23rd. As part of the immunization campaign, export truck drivers who regularly pass through border crossings started getting their COVID-19 vaccine shots. As part of an immunization campaign, people belonging to a high-risk target group are being vaccinated first. The target group includes health workers, emergency workers, policemen, inspectors, border guards, export drivers, and people aged 50 and over, and people with chronic diseases and disabilities. Therefore, export truck drivers working at the Kashun Sukhat port in Umungov province are being vaccinated against COVID-19. For example, 13,000 doses of the Chinese Sinopharm's vaccine are being administered to export truck drivers and health workers in Umungov province. Out of 13,000 vaccine doses, 11,860 were administered to mining employees and 157 drivers of coal extracting companies, and 1,019 were administered to doctors and health workers in the province. It is also planned to immunize 121 employees of customs, border guards and other related authorities. There are five immunization points operating at Kashon Sohat and three at Shive Hurum mining sites. In Dalinzadrat, health workers will be immunized at two points. The immunization campaign will be organized in accordance with the driver's shift schedules and one immunization team will administer shots to 150 people daily. As a result, the first 4,000 people are expected to be vaccinated within five days. Now let's take a look at Mongolia's current affairs. An online meeting between the heads of the Mongolian and Russian departments of the Mongolia-Russia Intergovernmental Commission on Trade, Economic, Scientific and Technical Cooperation was held on March 17th. During the meeting, Deputy Prime Minister of Mongolia, Amr Sekhang, expressed his satisfaction with the development of traditional friendly relations and cooperation between the two countries despite the COVID-19 pandemic. Mongolia received the first batch of Sputnik V vaccines and started inoculating its citizens. The pandemic can be curbed with joint efforts, Mr. Amr Sekhang added. In the framework of celebration of the 100th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Mongolia and Russia, it was proposed to involve Russian businessmen and Mongolian industrial and trade forms and to organize joint business forums and exhibitions in major Russian cities. It's the meeting bilateral relations and cooperation in the sectors of trade, economy, transportation, 
energy industry, construction, agriculture, environment, and humanitarian sectors were discussed. The sites noted that the project on the construction of a gas pipeline connecting Russia and China through the territory of Mongolia is progressing successfully. It was also stressed that the events dedicated to the 100th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations are being organized in accordance with a joint plan. The President of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, issued a decree granting the order of Alexander Nevsky to a Mongolian national, President of Mongolia-Russia Friendship Society, Kosmonaut Guru Raksha Jugdurtimit, in honor of his merit in the development of the comprehensive partnership between the two countries. Guru Raksha, the second Asian and the 101st cosmonaut in the world to fly to space, has become the first Mongolian to be awarded with the order of Alexander Nevsky, a high state decoration of the Russian Federation. The Order of Alexander Nevsky was first issued in 1724 by a decree of Catherine I of Russia and awarded to officers of the army and ordinary citizens. The badge of the order was amended closer to the old imperial model on September 7, 2010 by then-President Dmitry Medvedev's Decree No. 1099. The gold-plated ruby enameled cross pate has a gold double-headed eagle between each cross arm, the state emblem of the Russian Federation, with an enameled gold figure of Prince Alexander Nevsky riding a white horse in the middle. The order is manufactured at Gosnak Paper Mill in St. Petersburg. You're watching News Mongolia on MNB World. Now let's take a look at currency exchange rates provided by Mongol Bank. Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games are scheduled to be held from the 23rd of July to 8th of August 2021. With three months left, qualifying tournaments are going underway. Four more athletes, two in table tennis and two in boxing, have qualified and are the latest addition to the national team to represent Mongolia at the Summer Olympic Games. The Japanese government will hold a final meeting on March 25th to decide whether to allow foreign fans. A total of 4,480,000 tickets have been sold so far, but ticket sales have been suspended. According to the latest reports, the number of guests accompanying the heads of state and government of the host country during the Olympics has been sharply reduced and it is forbidden to visit the Olympic Village and meet with the athletes. With three months left, Olympic qualifying tournaments are being held across the globe. Four athletes have been able to win their rights to participate at the Olympics. Both Rirte and Hauksuri, members of the Mongolian national table tennis team, have won the right to participate in the Tokyo Olympic Games. The World Table Tennis Federation held its last Olympic qualifying tournament in Doha, Qatar. The best athletes from more than 50 countries participated in the competition regionally. Hauksuri, master of sports Mukhtaruk, Dotjunzu, both Rirte from our country, played in Southeast Asia. The International Boxing Association's June Olympics qualifier has been cancelled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. As a result, 53 rights were allocated to each continent in order to qualify for the Olympics according to the world rankings. Mirmur Jargal and Sindwater won their rights to participate in the Olympics in the boxing. As a result, three Mongolian boxers will participate in the Tokyo Olympics. Chinzorug won the first boxing title last year. Following this, let's take a look at the weather forecast for the world's major cities.
Well, that's all for today. Thank you for staying with us. We'll see you next week with more news and updates. Have a nice weekend. Goodbye.